Good Thursday morning to Northern Michigan. We'll take a look at your forecast. Now, we did have a cold front pushing through southern Michigan as we started off today. However, by now it's already pushed southward into the Ohio Valley. This cold front will continue to push its way eastward. As it does, we're keeping our winds out of the west, and so we're going to continue to see those lake effect snow showers today into tonight as well. Now, you look off towards the edge of your screen, and you see the stationary front here. This is going to hang out here, change over to a warm front as a Alberta Clipper, this low pressure system makes its way towards us and we're actually going to see two of them come right on through as we head into Friday and Saturday. So let's take a look at Stormcast. Like I said, that lake effect snow continuing all day today, possibly picking up two to three inches or so across the area for those locations might tack on another couple tonight. Now as we head into your Friday morning, we get a little bit of a break, might even see a little bit of some sunshine, but clouds really build their way in throughout the morning into our lunchtime hours. And then as we head into your afternoon, the first low pressure makes its way through, which touches off scattered showers really all day on Friday into our Saturday as well. And then the second low pressure makes its way towards us. So we're going to keep those snow showers around as we start our weekend and head into the second half of it as well. So let's go ahead. We'll talk some totals here as we go throughout the day today, not picking up a whole lot, maybe an inch for most of us. However, we do see around two to three for those lake effect locations. And again, might tack on a little bit more as we head overnight into our Friday. Now, as we go throughout the day on Friday, things change. That first system comes on through. So by Saturday morning, here are eight o'clock Saturday morning, a lot of areas picking up around two, three, maybe even close to four inches or so. And then throughout the day on Saturday, that next system enters. And so by Saturday evening, especially for parts of the northern lower into the eastern UP, we could be looking at five, six, possibly more inches of that in accumulation. We have a couple things going on. Lake effect snow advisory in effect for Luce County that goes until 7 o'clock in the morning on Friday. We also have a flood watch in effect from Acosta County that goes until Sunday evening. Now, the lake effect snow advisory for the places closest to Lake Superior, looking at two to six inches of snowfall by Friday morning. Expect low visibilities and drifting snow due to some pretty gusty winds out of the west. Macosta County, just watch for those rising river levels on the Muskegon River because it's possibly due to an ice jam that can really change those levels quite quickly. So just pay attention to that until we get into your Sunday night. Here's a look at your seven day forecast and we do have again those windy conditions Thursday night into Friday could cause some blowing drifting snow. We then keep that chance of snow in the forecast really throughout the next upcoming week. The other thing that you're going to notice our temperatures drop quite a bit. In fact, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday our highs stay around 10 degrees while our lows are around zero. Thanks for clicking at upnorthlive.com.